So, unfortunately, Wonka is bombing at the box office. Uh, it's going to need some serious legs to sort of carry this through to being a success. I say unfortunately because you know what? It just seemed like it was pretty innocuous. Uh, other people that have reviewed this have enjoyed it. But there's just not many people interested in seeing it. It is one of those movies, ultimately, that never needed to happen. And I think a lot of people are like, huh? What? Why did you make this? But for all, like, for all intents and purposes, looking at this and the trailer and the, the feedback that's come from it, it's a pretty just a pretty decent movie by the looks of things. Pretty innocuous, like I said. Non-offensive. Uh, sort of a, a story of hope. Nothing really that bizarre going on. Nothing weird. It was just, yeah, just like a normal story. Um, and I would have said as well, that this would, I, I honestly thought this would do really well because it, it seems very fitting for the holiday period. Uh, I think they've timed it right. I just people don't care about it, which is shame, I guess. And I do think it's a shame. So it's bombing currently, massively. Um, now, obviously, we don't know fully, but meh, you can probably predict these things like we have them many times. So the Wonka box office, not looking good. Uh, it's projected to open at the low end of box office estimates, which means the film will need legs to be a success. So the film reportedly was $125 million and then marketing on top of it. So it doesn't need huge numbers to break even. It needs a good amount. It needs significantly more than what it's going to be getting. It's, it's, estimated, it's, it's estimated to open to about $35 million. So yeah, uh, yeah pretty shit. I mean, 125, if we're being super kind, let's say rounded up to $200 million with marketing, right? And that's being, that, that isn't how much it costs. It'd be more than that. But let's just say it was. It still needs $400 million to break even. And it's estimated to open to $35 million, which is just woeful. That's, that's really woeful. You know another reason why I was surprised by this? Because Timothy Chalamet... Uh, has a really big contingent of fans, like young girls. I know. I know, yeah, it's weird to me too. But this chap, big girl following. Big girl following. So I am surprised it's opening to so little. Really surprised. Um, but of course, this is a remake. Um, kind of, but not. It's a prequel. Actually, it's a prequel to the Gene Wilder movie, not the Johnny Depp one. Because the Johnny Depp one, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, has a prequel element to it, which doesn't align with this. So, this is not a prequel to that. This is a prequel to the Gene Wilder one. Uh, so, Wonka is currently estimated to open to $35 million. Johnny Depp's one, however, opened to over $56 million back in 2005, which is... Yeah, not bad. I mean, in today's money, it's 87 million. So, that's, that is a big difference. It is a big difference. Um, and this is how bad it's doing. So, it opened to $3.5 million on, well, with Thursday previews. Uh, and so, a $35 million opening weekend. Not great. Not great. Word of mouth will be where this saves it. And you know what? I still think that this could, could be a success. I mean, it's going to really have to have word of mouth. Like, heavy, heavy chatter. Um, but it is fascinating, isn't it? I mean, you've got all of this stuff coming out. All of this stuff coming out. And the one movie which has now made money is Godzilla Minus One. Which is absolutely hilarious. I mean, it deserves it. It's a great film. But it is just funny how it's decimating the Hollywood machine. And the next film that's coming out after this is uh, Aquaman. And that, Jesus, that film's going to bomb, I think. Really, really bad. It just seems people don't care about these movies anymore. There's no... Yeah, it's almost like people don't want escapism either, which I think is odd. I always like a bit of escapism, but this sort of era of heavy media consumption does seem to be going... And, you know, I don't want to get too sort of off base with it, but I do think that largely this is thanks to short attention spans 
which has been proven to be uh, you know a, a manifestation of shorts tiktok reels all these this type of media consumption in that format people just don't want to watch a long form format anymore i mean they do when it's a good film but they really have to push themselves to do it it's been proven to be really bad for your brain so it seems to be the norm these movies bombing um and having terrible openings and then just bombing or yeah maybe having some legs to keep it going so wonka and this is the thing 84 percent of rotten tomatoes 90 percent audience score so the people that the people that have watched it really like it just no one cares <laughs> you know and that's not that's not to say that it's a good film i don't know i've not i've not been that interested to go out and watch it it's not interested me enough to go out and watch it but yeah, and this article says if it's not an event movie, Barbie, Super Mario, Spider-Verse, Oppenheimer, word of mouth has to get out, as it did for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is true, that had a pretty bad opening, um, and then went on to perform okay, you know. Our audiences have been burned too many times, and they're more discerning, which they are. So also not having Wonka is its competition with two other holiday releases from the same studio. Warner Brothers has put the colour purple and Aquaman 2 um, in the same lineup, which just seems weird. I mean, Aquaman 2 is going to bomb anyway. That's going to really, really bomb. And there are no big Christmas films released this year, which is why I thought Wonka would be that. I really thought Wonka would be the Christmas movie. But apparently there just, there just isn't one. Weird. Very, very odd odd um i just don't understand why they yeah i don't understand why they didn't just it's such an odd odd decision to release all those movies all in quick succession I mean, they're competing with themselves they're all warner brothers movies why would you do that it's so odd so there you go i mean look it's bombing we don't know the full box office details yet we'll get that tomorrow actually um but at present it's a bomb I will say, this is one of those movies that we'll have to wait and see how it goes down next weekend. Because I think word of mouth could still save this. Honestly, I do still think it could be saved by word of mouth. But anyway, I'll hand it on over to you. What do you think? Let me know down below. Love to hear your thoughts. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.